It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten Glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow It's beginning to... Hi, welcome back to Live, Laugh, Love, Scrapbooks.blogspot.com We are on number three of our Christmas cards. We did this card first. We've now done this card. And we are on our last card, which is going to be this Holly card. Okay? And what we did was we used our Stretch Your Imagination Cricut cartridge. And we went to page 53 on that cartridge and we cut out our Holly leaves. And what they do is you will cut out the holly leaf on shadow. How I did it was I cut off, cut up, I'm sorry, I cut out my holly leaf at shadow and then I cut out my regular holly out of the green. And then your holly berries, I used the feature layers and cut out my little holly berries. And then when I put it all together, I had this, and then what I did was took red stickles and I colored in completely my holly berries and left them overnight to dry, okay? Then I took my card that I cut at, um, I cut this card at five and a half by eight and a half and scored it at four and a quarter and ran it through my cuddle bug and I don't remember the name of this pattern but fiddle I don't remember it came with one of my Christmas collection ones so I ran that through there it's one of the corner ones that you're just going to have the the two sided here and I, what I did was just put it in my cuddle bug I always face my cuddle bug words towards me and I put it in like this, then of course ran it through the machine, okay? So, you have that done, now you have your card embossed, it's laying in front of you, really, really easy. I took extra adhesive because of these tiny gems, and I just put it on here. I use this uh, Zig two-way because it dries clear. It goes on blue, dries clear. So that was what I wanted to use. I'm really comfortable with this pen and I like it. And what I did was just do two or three of them. Just randomly do whatever you want. Just the very center of the um, snowflakes is what I did. Well, I've got glue on my tweezers and that gem doesn't want to come off there. Um, and like I said, these were self-adhesive gems. but because of these tiny ones, I just felt like I would be more comfortable if I glued them. And that way I knew they weren't going to come off and be in the envelope when people open up the Christmas cards. So that was what I chose to do. You don't have to do it. It's just extra. Um, and I did, let's see, I did just randomly. And I want to do one more down here. Okay. All right. Then I took my holly leaves and put some permanent adhesive on there. Use permanent when you're doing uh, cards so that people don't open up the card and it's all fell apart during the mailing process. So you want it to be sure and make it through. And you're ready to stamp some type of a sentiment on the inside or print one out on your computer, mat it and put it on the inside and that card is done. What a beautiful card that is. Little, little time. Very, very easy. So that is our number three card of our series of three. You would have three cards. I guess it would probably make you, if you organized your area, it would probably take you, oh, maybe... 20 minutes to do three of them so you now can come up with your own Christmas cards. I really appreciate you joining us. Please watch for future videos. We're doing a lot of Christmas cards. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs>